Welcome back. Now, you may have noticed throughout the show that all the ladies have been slightly distracted, and there is a reason for that. The ladies. <laughs> the ladies have been. Only the ladies. <laughs> well, maybe a few men as well. Um, because with us, one third of the classical singing sensation from Soul and Mio, would you please welcome Moses Mackay. Yay! <laughs> It's chat time, Moses. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. You're good. You were doing really well in the kitchen before. It was all the show. You've Incredibly got well. Some skills, in isn't fact, it? I was going to say that you were like a spare. What would you call it? Like a spare mm, spoon. A spare spoon <laughs> in the kitchen. Yep, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I was a spare spoon. That's all right. He was doing a good job. He didn't need me. Um, well, look, welcome to the cafe. Um, what have you been up to? Because I know you know. Last time we seen you guys, it was kind of all over, and now you've embarked on a solo career. That's right. What's been happening? Well, since our last Christmas in the Vines concert, you know, we decided to take two years off really just explore our own individual careers and um, and we just knew that when, by the time we came back we'd just be you know even more stronger even more stronger even more stronger I even, think is what you said that <laughs> even more stronger runger runger <laughs> well we're very glad that you are coming back even more stronger because you've got Christmas in the Vines and Christmas on the harbour as well in Wellington it's a new one we've added in Wellington so, so. what so Christmas just seems like the right time to get together and have a jam well, the well is, you know, for, like for, for me and for the boys as well you know Christmas is our excuse to come home you know? right I've never spent Christmas anywhere else. Uh, even when I was living in Wales, I made sure that I came home and spent it with mum and dad and my brothers and sisters. So it is like a, a little excuse to come home. Now, I want to find out more about your solo career and your personal life in just a few minutes. But first, let's talk about Christmas in the Vines because the first time um, we had an engagement. That's right. It was amazing. In fact, if you missed it, let's take a look. You are my heart's delight. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Ah, oh, that is beautiful. That, that is super is stunning. So hang on, let me get straight. Where are you throughout this whole thing? So I'm standing right behind him. I was actually holding the ring, and a few of the boys were, were joking. They're like, should we take the ring out and put it, put, replace it with a burger ring? <laughs> <laughs> so when you opened it, it should be like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> but we purposely didn't mic her. We didn't put a mic on her, just right. in case she said no. Oh, well, OK, good thing. And then we just get yeah. the ushers and usher her out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to you on the answer, yeah, audience, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> she said yes. Yeah. And then uh, and the second Christmas in the Vines, you, you got your old man up to have a sing with you. Well, it was my dad's 50th birthday. Nice. And so I wanted to do something special, something he's never done before. So I, um, I took him on stage and we sung an Elvis Presley song. So now oh, the pressure's cool. on. What are we going to do this time round? <laughs> well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, oh. God. Have you got anything planned? We do. Oh, OK. That's right. always good to know, but oh, he's going to okay. say he's got something planned. <laughs> and I just want to get back to your father for a second. So obviously he can sing as well, otherwise you wouldn't have got him up on stage. He well, wouldn't sing. have given him a mic. Yeah. So is, is that where you got your voice from, or your love of music? Uh, you could say so. I mean, everyone in our family, they just... We live and breathe music, you know. We're always listening, singing, you know. But you church, wailed and tuned, didn't you, when you were a baby? Wailed. That's one sound too. <laughs> I not describe what the sound I was making, but uh, yeah, we always. My dad is always playing the guitar and singing. He's more of a backyard singer though. Yeah, he's not really doesn't like singing in front of people. Oh, and uh, well, he handled that quite well, didn't he? Uh, kind of. He was yeah. shaking like a little puppy. <laughs> it was a big crowd. <laughs> it was a big crowd. I don't blame him. So, okay. So, when did you kind of get involved with the opera side of things? Um, oh, that was when I left. When I was in high school, going sim form into university, I auditioned for. The school of music you know i didn't want to my music teacher forced me to and uh, so i went in sung and i got in on a win and then the year after i was in the new zealand youth choir traveling around the world and i was in a backing choir behind andre bocelli and so thank god my my idea of music really exploded from there and that's when i was introduced to classical music choral singing and yeah, just I just wanted to explore everything. It's just incredible though, because when you listen to you, you guys sing, it sends. There's only a very few bits of music that will send tingles down the back of your spine when you listen to it. Don't you find? Yeah. And no, it's sure. like, oh. And when you did I See Fire for the World Cup, what was that experience like? Because that was a full-on body tingle moment. Well, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about you. It might have been the only one. Don't <laughs> no, that was a really cool experience. Um, I remember when we flew over to London and sung I See Fire for the boys, yeah. um, who were there and. And then even when they came home, bought the cup, and we stood in Victoria Park. Yes. And we were singing to the crowd, and then halfway through, we turned around and faced the boys. And that was a pretty special moment, and uh, we just sang it for them. You know, the song was purposely we recorded it for them, you know. And even we were talking to some of the boys, and they said, man, before we went out, we were listening to that track. You know, they had it on their iPods and stuff. 
and so we won that World Cup. You, well, you did. Yeah, you I'm did. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, uh, you know, what I love about you guys too is that you have loads of fun on stage. I mean, if anybody has seen these guys perform, incredible. <laughs> Beautiful singers, but you make it fun. You've opened up opera to a whole swag of new people, which I think is really awesome. What about the solo career? Yeah. So where are you heading with that? What are you doing? What sort of music are you doing? Well, since I was young, I've always been... I always compose music. I've always been a composer. I love writing. I love arranging. And, and, uh, and so I never like to see things as one. So, you know, opera is one thing. It's very cubbyhole and, and you really put your head down and it's amazing. But I've always been one to try and do everything, you know. So, um, so what are you doing? It's, I'm writing and I'm, I'm putting an album together. Um, what kind of What's style? style? Not yeah, yeah, question here. Yeah. Can it's, you tell uh, us? What kind of style is it? It's, uh, it's very 50s, 60s. So when I, before I was doing opera, I was playing in, in jazz bars and, and I was playing a lot of things, playing guitar, piano, double bass, and, and I was very much immersed into that. I actually had a little mariachi little group and we used to go into restaurants and just burst out and sing. Oh, cool. oh, singing great. like Spanish songs and Italian songs and everyone thought it was the funniest thing. And hopefully we should be hearing more from you about this um, at least end of this year, early next year? Yeah, come back. Coming, coming up. Fabulous. Coming yeah, up. Come back. Hey, it has been yeah. so wonderful having you in the studio, Moses. Thank and you for in having all me. parts of the studio, including the kitchen. Uh, Solomeo's Wellington Christmas on the Harbour Show and Christchurch and Auckland's Christmas in the Vines takes place in mid-December. Tickets are available now, so make sure that you get in very quick.